37 Kangol Shepherd Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Kangol Shepherd, celebrated as a prominent traditional Turkish breed, excels in its role as a robust livestock guardian. For centuries, shepherds have relied on these faithful dogs to protect their livestock, particularly from wolves. Number 2. Kangols have an independent and assertive nature, requiring owners with strong leadership qualities. If given the opportunity, they may attempt to become pack leaders, leading to behavior challenges. To maintain a harmonious relationship, owners must establish themselves as confident and consistent leaders, directing their assertiveness toward positive behaviors. Number 3. The Kangol is the national dog of Turkey. Number 4. The export of Kangol Shepherds from Turkey was banned. But since 2021, special permits issued by the Turkish government allow owners to take them out of the country. Number 5. There's a brand named Kangol Sheepdog Clothing that has created a tank top designed for Kangol owners. It features a Kangol's outline body image and the text print, Just a Boy Who Loves Kangols. Number 6. Kangol Shepherds have a thick double coat with fur ranging between 1 and 3 inches long. Number 7. These dogs also exhibit a range of coat colors, spanning from pale fawn to wolf gray, all marked by a distinct black mask. Number 8. The Kangol's dual layer coat serves distinct purposes. The underlayer provides insulation against both harsh Anatolian winters and the intense summer sun. In contrast, the outer layer repels water and snow. Number 9. The dense composition of the Kangol's coat not only aids in thermal regulation, but also offers resistance against ruptures from wolf bites. Number 10. In the American Kennel Club, Kangol Shepherds are ineligible if their coat color deviates from pale fawn to wolf gray. Plus, a characteristic black mask is a must for AKC recognition. Number 11. Dental health is a priority for Kangol's in breed standard 2, with strong teeth and gums. A scissors bite is preferred, but a level bite is also fine. It's okay if they have broken teeth, however, an overshot, undershot, or right bite disqualifies them. Number 12. The Kangol's muzzle should also be strong and sturdy, more solid in males, but equally balanced in both genders. It shouldn't be pointed or slender either. The nose and lips should be solid black or brown, and any fading or incomplete pigmentation is not accepted by any breed standard. Furthermore, the dry lips of these pups add to the squared look of the muzzle. Number 13. Some sources believe that the ancestors of the Kangol Shepherd might have been depicted in artwork from the Assyrian Empire around 600 BC. Number 14. A DNA study found that Kangol dogs shared genetic similarities with dogs from Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tazakistan, and Afghanistan. The researchers suggest that these dogs may have been introduced to their current region by nomadic Turks from Central Asia. Number 15. There are different theories about the origin of the Kangol Shepherd's name. Some suggest that it may be linked to the Turkic tribe called Kankalis, while others believe it could be named after the town of Kangol in Turkey's Sivas province. Number 16. The Kangol Shepherd was recognized as an official breed by Federation Sinologic International in 1989. However, its well-defined characteristics were only established in the 2018 breed standard. Number 17. The Kennel Club of the United Kingdom recognized the Turkish Kangol dog as a distinct breed only in April 2013. They also provided an option for owners of dogs previously registered as Anatolian Shepherd dogs to apply for re-registration under the new breed name Turkish Kangol Dog. Number 18. Unlike some other breed organizations, the AKC first registered Anatolian Shepherd dogs in 1996, and Kangol's also belong to this category. Number 19. In the United States, the term Anatolian Shepherd is used to refer to dogs that are descendants of regional Turkish livestock guardian breeds, primarily the Kangol and the Akbash. Number 20. Some American-bred Kangols trace their lineage back to the late 1960s when a U.S. Navy lieutenant stationed in Turkey brought two dogs, Zorba and Pecky, to the United States. These two dogs had their first litter in 1970. Number 21. There's a sharp division between American and Turkish breeders regarding the Kangol's origins and traits. American breeders claimed their dogs were authentic Turkish shepherd dogs, while Turkish breeders believed that they were just a blend of various Turkish breeds. Number 22. Since 1994, approximately 300 Kangol Shepherd dogs had been provided to Namibian farmers by the Cheetah Conservation Fund of Namibia to mitigate cheetah attacks on livestock. Number 23. This successful initiative of the Cheetah Conservation Fund has expanded to Kenya as well. This move dramatically cut cheetah killings by farmers from 19 per farmer to 2.4 annually. Livestock losses also plummeted by over 80% on adopting farms, with cheetahs now only killed after direct livestock attacks, a positive shift from previous tracking and killings near farms. 
Number 24. Kangal Shepherd dogs typically stand between 28 and 31 inches at the withers for males and 26 and 29 inches for females. Number 25. Unlike certain larger Mastiff breeds, the Kangal Shepherd is relatively lighter, with males typically weighing between 110 and 150 pounds and females ranging from 80 to 120 pounds. Number 26. Due to comparatively low body weight to other Mastiff dogs, Kangals have increased speed and agility. These dogs can achieve speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Number 27. Kangals typically have a life expectancy of 11 to 13 years. Number 28. The Kangal's gait is a remarkable blend of power and fluidity, especially noticeable when they trot. While trotting, their legs align perfectly, ensuring no crossing or disruption from both the front and rear views. As they pick up speed, their footsteps naturally converge toward their center. When viewed from the side, their front legs extend smoothly and their rear assembly moves gracefully, creating a well-balanced movement. Number 29. Kangal Shepherd dogs are content with a moderate exercise routine, including time in a secure yard and daily walks. However, it's important to always use a leash when taking them outside, because they may not reliably respond to commands when off-leash, as recommended by experienced breeders. Number 30. Kangals do well with high-quality dog food, whether commercial or veterinarian-approved homemade meals. The diet should match their life stage and be overseen by a vet for optimal health. Number 31. Kangals may face various health challenges, including orthopedic issues like osteochondritis, dissecans, hip and elbow dysplasia, and epilepsy. Cardiomyopathy and autoimmune thyroiditis are also potential concerns in these dogs. Number 32. The robust Kangals might also be predisposed to conditions such as bloat and cancer, notably osteosarcoma. Number 33. Kangals have one of the strongest bite forces among canines, measuring an impressive 743 pounds per square inch. Number 34. Kangals, due to their history as livestock guardians, have a natural tendency to bark when they sense potential threats. This serves as a protective alert to both owners and intruders. Number 35. Acquiring a young Kangal from a reputable breeder generally costs between $500 and $1,500, and dogs with prestigious pedigrees may have even higher prices. Number 36. The pregnancy period for Kangal dogs typically lasts around 64 to 67 days. Number 37. During the reproductive cycle, Kangals often give birth to litter of 1 to 6 puppies, with an average litter size typically being around 3 puppies. Alright folks, are there any additional facts about Kangal Shepherds that you think should have made the list? Share them with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.